The modernization of the Philippine Navy is no longer defined by plans alone. It is now being measured by concrete systems, real timelines, and increasingly sophisticated combat capabilities. One of the clearest indicators of this shift is the steady progress being made on the weapons and sensors upgrade of the Miguel Malvar class warships, a class that began its life under the Corvette acquisition program and has since evolved into a true frigate capability for the fleet. Originally conceptualized as Corvettes, the Miguel Malvar class ships were later redesignated as frigates upon commissioning, reflecting both their displacement and their growing role in fleet operations. This redesignation was not merely administrative, it signaled a doctrinal shift within the Philippine Navy, recognizing that these ships would serve not just as patrol platforms, but as frontline surface combatants, capable of operating in contested maritime environments. As of 16 December 2025, the Weapons and Sensors Systems Upgrade Program for the Miguel Malvar class continues to move forward in a deliberate and methodical manner. At the center of this effort is the Technical Working Group, which is currently refining the terms of reference for the surface-to-air missile component of the upgrade. This phase is critical as it defines the technical, operational, and integration requirements that will shape the ship's air defense capability for decades to come. One of the most important aspects of the Miguel Malvar class is that it is the first ship class in the Philippine Navy to feature an integrated vertical launching system. This marks a historic milestone for the fleet. Unlike traditional deck-mounted launchers, a VLS provides true omnidirectional firing capability, allowing missiles to be launched in any direction without the need to maneuver the ship. In practical terms, this means the Miguel Malvar class can respond to aerial threats approaching from multiple axes simultaneously, a crucial advantage in modern naval warfare where saturation attacks and multi-vector threats are increasingly common. For a Navy operating in a complex maritime environment like the West Philippine Sea, this capability significantly enhances survivability and mission effectiveness. The integrated VLS also future-proofs the platform. By adopting a standardized launch architecture, the Philippine Navy opens the door to multiple missile options over the ship's service life. This flexibility is especially important given the rapid pace of missile technology development and the evolving nature of regional security challenges. Among the missile systems compatible with the Miguel Malvar class VLS is the VL Mica family, including the more advanced VL Mica NG or New Generation. While the current TOR refinement focuses on the initial surface to air missile component, the compatibility with VL Mica NG represents a potential future upgrade path that could significantly enhance the ship's air defense envelope. VL Mica NG offers a range of over 40 kilometers, along with improved seekers, enhanced resistance to electronic countermeasures, and better performance against modern threats such as sea skimming missiles, maneuvering aircraft, and potentially even certain unmanned aerial systems. For the Philippine Navy, adopting such a capability would represent a major leap forward in area and point air defense at sea. The implications extend beyond individual platforms. A frigate equipped with VLS-based air defense contributes to task group operations, enhances the protection of high-value units, and supports joint and combined missions with allies. As the technical working group continues to refine the tour and procurement activities advance, the Miguel Malvar class stands as a tangible symbol of the Philippine Navy's transition into a more capable and technologically sophisticated force.
In the broader picture of AFP modernization, the Miguel Malvar class upgrade is not just about missiles or guns. It is about building institutional expertise, strengthening defense partnerships, and ensuring that Philippine naval platforms are ready to meet both current and emerging threats. It reflects a Navy that is no longer content with minimal capability, but one that is deliberately shaping a credible, modern, and forward-looking maritime force. And as the first Philippine Navy ship class to field an integrated vertical launching system, the Miguel Malvar class is setting a precedent, one that future surface combatants will build upon as the Navy continues its journey toward a more secure and resilient maritime future. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on Philippine defense and modernization. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.